Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Artbook Addiction here, and we're back with the Artist Journey, right? So on today's episode, we're going to be covering uh, instinct, right? Um, what, whether to follow it, you know, like what, what does it mean to you, and um, how does it play uh, versus your knowledge, right? Like in instinct versus knowledge, right? There's the, these two things will will sometimes fight each other, right? Uh, but before we hit the, we start the videos, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe, um, check out my prints in the link below, it'll really help out the channel if you purchase a print, right? Uh, but with all that said, let's, uh, let's get into this, right? <clears throat> so, instinct, right? What is, what does it mean, um, to have instinct, right? I mean, like, you know, it's innate, right? Instinct is, um, like a, like a gut feeling, right? Um, but what is that, what is, like, what does instinct mean to art, right? Instinct means, um, like, like a slight feeling, or, or maybe an intense feeling, right? That, that shows itself only in the moment, right? And, like, for an artist, um, that can mean, like, something that, that just pops up, and then just, like, it's like, oh, you should do this, right? And, um, whether you question that, or not is like up to you, right? As an artist, right? That's that's kind of the the whole point, right? About instinct. Um, but let's say you're 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 in you're on the canvas, right? And you're you're painting, you're painting, you're painting, right? And um, you 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 just get this random inclination to uh, use this ridiculous color, right? You're like, uh, okay, so like like oh. Uh, I'm painting this, you know, this very uh, muted, you know, scene, right? And then your your brain is just like, hey, uh, use mint green, okay? Use mint green right here. And then um, you're like, what? That makes no sense. That like, wh how would that work, right? Like, there's no way uh, mint green would be good, you know? And that's like that. There, there, you are. You're entering. Uh, a, a spot where you're when you have to make a choice do you follow your instinct right or do you uh, you know retain uh, do you go with the knowledge that you've already built right and um, for me and most artists right um, the best way to go is instinct right yes knowledge good perfect like always good you know, like having the rules and the fundamentals always good right but instinct, right? That's where you start uh, getting into the weird stuff. That's where you start like uplifting yourself, you know. Because to you, it's it's a uh, it's it makes no sense, right? But that's when the divine enters in and, and decides to like, you know what, dude? I'm gonna I'm gonna try something out. I'm gonna experiment, right? And it's important to to um, foster that relationship between you and your instinct, right? Um, because it's a means of the muse uh, to give you to, to nudge you in the right direction, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah. So whenever I've made like a choice like that, where um, I, I I made something like it's like ridiculous, where it's like there's no way, you know, like that that mint green scenario that that literally did happen to me, right? Um, and it, it it worked out, right? And most times it's gonna work out, right? Um, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes you're like, you know, you, but you have to commit to the choice, right? Once you've committed to the choice and you've, like, you've worked it out and you've seen it through, right? And you're like, you're like, okay, well, I'm going to, like, this, like, um, for this entire object, I'm going to paint it this color, right? Like, the way my instincts are telling me, right? And then I'm going to put, put it all, like, don't paint halfway and go and then, like, back out, you know? Paint it all. See how it is. Does it work? You know, can you make it work, right? Um, what do your instincts tell you after you've put it in, right? Um, sometimes my instinct is uh, like, oh, I just gotta work through it. You know, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. You know, like it just needs a little bit of something, right? And then it'll work, right? Um, but in other cases, you're like, your instinct will be like, ah, nah, man, that that it's it's not working. You know, it's it's just not like you know, it's it was worth a shot, but you know, like and that's that's the that's the interplay between uh, you and your instincts, right? Like, you gotta have a conversation, you know, like, is this working? Um, 
like if I push it more, will it work? You know, like and, and then and, like and then your instincts are there to kind of guide you, right? But not necessarily force you into a into a choice, right? Um, so your your instincts shouldn't be like the be all end all, right? And neither should your knowledge, right? Um, I've had artists who. Um, some are more instinctual, some are more knowledge-based, right? Um, and, like, they're more analytical, right? But, like, from what I've noticed, like, the people who are more, like, analytical, right, um, tend to struggle more, right? Because, like, they're, they, they, they overthink themselves into a corner, right? Um, instinct is, it's, like, it's wild, you know, it's, it's like dancing, right, and you're just like, you know, you're, you, like, it's, it, it, it really allows you to get into flow state, right, whereas, like, analytical, uh, the analytical method, I feel like, um, it's good, but it, it can, like, the thought process can block flow state, right, you know, when you're just, when you're just flowing, you know, and you're just, you know, like, of course you're thinking, right, but when you're thinking and you're, like, it, you're, you're thinking instinctually, right? Um, that's when, that's when the muse come in, you know, and, and take over, right? And start pulling your strings, and you know, and then you 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 start working and working, and then um, you're, it's and you're hitting every note, you know what I mean? It's like, and you know, when you're you're playing Guitar Hero, and you're just like, gah, 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 and you're just you're just hitting every note, right? And then you like, like you know that if you question yourself. Right, and you're like, how am I doing this? That's when it's gonna stop, right? It's exactly like that, right? So, don't question, don't question the goo, okay? Don't question uh, your muse, right? Your muse is taking over, and you're like, I'm just gonna give myself away, right? Um, and an instinct has a lot to do with that, right? Because uh, your 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 instinct is gonna make choices. That, like I said, you would that that would go against your knowledge, right? And that that goes against the the uh, you know the, ana the the analyst, right? Artist. Um, and I feel like you know instinct. If you if you foster it correctly, you know if you build it up correctly, like right, like everything has everything has to do with building up, right? It's like layers, right? If you build up the layers correctly. Um, it's gonna make you, you. You will have. To, <clears throat> you will be able to rely on your instinct to make the pieces that you want every single time, right? And make pieces that you never would have expected, right? Um, and usually, instinct will bring you to a spot where uh, not only do you surprise yourself, but uh, the piece is better for it. And like, people get to see that, and, like, like. Why do you choose to do this, dude? Like, it looks great, but, like, I would have never thought that. And it's like, well, that's, you know, I didn't think about it either. You know, it just kind of, right there, came to me, right? Um, and that's another thing about uh, instinct, right? Um, it also works, like, for me, it works with, like, concepts. It works with ideas, right? I don't, when I, whenever, I, whenever I have an idea, it's not, it's not really, like, like, Oh well, I need to make a story, and then so if I'm going to choose a story, you know, it's going to be th this kind of story, and I want it to look like this, you know, like to me it's instinct, where it's just like, <sighs> you know, flash of lightning, uh, uh, you know, I'm stricken by the muses, and they say, uh, do this, and I'm like, uh, uh I, uh, yeah, I'll go for it, you know, and then um, that works with ideas, that works with, um, like, like brainstorming the first initial concepts of, of what your ideas are, right? And, like, I'm telling you, dude, if you just, if you go too analytical, if you think, like, if you just think too hard, I, I guess, I don't know, it's it's weird because, like, it requires thinking, but thinking too hard is also, like, it can get in your way, right? Uh, but also thinking more could also help, right? So it's very, it's like, it's, it's a very strange balance right and then like you guys have to work that out yourselves right that's what you have to find out um but like a lot of people they place they place knowledge in, as an importance over instinct every time right um and knowledge is like it's great you know like i said like i said it's
it will inform and give the backbone, okay, the backbone to what your art will be, right? It'll give it a strong foundation, right? You know, this is the the, the knowledge is the dance floor, right? In which you you uh, dance, right? But the instinct is what uh, allows you to perform the dance, right? The execution, right? And um, I would argue that sometimes execution is more important than knowledge, right? Um, I know a lot of people who have a, no a lot, a lot, a lot of knowledge, but their execution sucks, right? And vice versa, I've known people who have fantastic execution, but they don't know jack shit, right? So it's that balance, right? It's that balance between execution, right, and knowledge, right? And then, like, you know, like, again, like I said, execution has to do with in instinct, right? You put these two together, right? And then this will allow you to uh, go the direction you want, right? And like I said, there there is the also the, the aspect of uh, not, not necessarily knowing where you're going to go, right? But just following your instincts, following that feeling, you know, that feeling that'll just you know, guide you to the finish, you know what I mean? Um, and, uh, like, this has to do with, like, not just with art, but, like, with, uh, you know, your, your direction, okay? Like, it's all about, like, to me, it's all about feeling, it's all about instinct, it's all about, like, like hmm, like, how do I feel about this? You know, what do my instincts say? You know, what does my gut say? What does my gut tell me to do? Um, uh, and what vice versa, what does my gut tell me not to do, you know, like, I want to, like, I know in, in my heart of hearts, like, it's logical to do this, my gut tells me, I don't want to do that, right, I want to do this instead, do this radical thing instead, right, and those things will, will push you, and like, and, and like, like, every time you make that choice, you're growing it, you're growing your instinct, you know, and like, if it pays off, it grows even more, right, um, and vice versa, like, if you, if you decide to, uh, constantly ignore your instinct, that could be, that could work to your detriment, right? Um, you could become a timid artist, right? Or someone who isn't confident in their ability or their work or their execution, right? But they have a lot of institutional knowledge. And I feel like that, um, that's a harder spot to be in, right? Um, you'd rather be the idiot savant than the, uh, the, uh, timid, uh, genius who can't do anything, right? Um, I think, uh, instinct is what allows someone to, uh, reach, reach that genius, you know? It's a tool, right? And, and, and like, um, because that, that, like, that explains why there's so many people who, um, like they can critique, they can analyze, they could, they could, you know, try to guess the meaning of art. Like you know, art, like art historians is a whole thing, right? Like they all look at the art, uh, you know, right? But they cannot perform the action, right? And as artists, we are the performers, right? We are the ones who are in the thing, you know. Um, without us, without us to extract from the, from the chaos, you know, and to create order, right? Um, there would be no, uh, there would be nothing for them to analyze, right? Um, so, that's why you gotta follow your instincts, man, right? Because it will lead you down a path that you don't know, and that will allow you to grow, right? For good or for worse, right? Um, if you make, if, if it doesn't turn out well, you're like, oh well, you know, I, I tried it out, didn't work out, you know, and I'll, that, that's a lesson for next time, right? But if you, if it does work out and you're like, wow, you know, that gave me some really unexpected results, but I, I really, really enjoyed it. You know, that is, that's also extremely valuable, right? Um, and then you, you, you keep, you know, going there, you keep going in that direction, you keep going that direction, right? And that will, that will lead you to the things that you want, right? Like, like style, right? Um, your voice, right? Um, knowing what your muse wants okay and your artistic purpose right um and like so like the you know, and, and so like these are the huge benefits of fostering your your instinct correctly you know so you 
you want to go this way, right? Not like I said, knowledge is very important, okay? Like, I, I want to make a whole video about why, why education is extremely important for an artist, right? Um, but instinct, you know, like, like I said, most people follow uh, knowledge, right? That's, that's the route they go, right? But they don't foster their <coughs> instinct, right? And my instinct is to tell you about it, right? Um, that instinct was what started this channel, right? And has brought me uh, a lot of great things that I would have never expect, expected to happen to me, right? So uh, please, 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 um, if you don't trust your instincts, um, try, try fostering them, you know? And like, you can build instincts in a good way, you can build instincts in a bad way, right? If you follow bad instincts, you know, that's, that's bad, right? But try to figure out what are the good instincts? Which one should I follow, right? Start building up that relationship. Have a conversation between you and your, your reptile brain that's making these snap, you know, decisions, right? And once you've discovered, you know, that, that, that uh, instinctual voice in your head, right? Um, I suggest to you to follow it, right? Um, all right, I think that's it for this video. I think uh, we could call that uh, a wrap. You know, I will be referring to these, you know, again and again, right? You know, I, I might make a second video. I might make a instinct part two video, right? Um, answering your questions or whatever. You know, that's 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 just the way it's going to be. This is a very open format. You know, I want it to be about discussion, right? Um, but uh, please uh, hit that like if you like the video. Hit that subscribe button. Um, leave a comment. Tell me how you guys feel about your artistic in, uh, instincts, right? Do they are they working for you? You know, or are you are you kind of fighting yourself, right? Um, ring that bell for notification. Uh, buy my prints in the link below, right? It'll help out the channel. All that bullshit, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.